Hello everyone, welcome back to Just Invest Today. And today, the Chinese stock market is booming. We have every single Chinese stock going crazy. We had the Chinese government basically releasing its bazooka, trying to stimulate the economy because we all know the economy is not doing as good as everyone thought it would. Ever since the whole pandemic, it hasn't been catching up to the rest of the world. But even though it hasn't done as good as it thought, it's still growing GDP around three to four percent, which is actually amazing and faster than a lot of countries. But they want to get to five percent GDP growth. Let's see if that happens. So they're doing everything they can to stimulate the economy right now. We do know the whole property sector in China is still in turmoil. People are not buying homes as much. But man, they're doing a lot of stimulus. So we're going to go through the stimulus that they're having. So let's break down the quick stimulus that they're doing. Plus, we have to look at the companies that are just booming. We have to look at Baba, Tencent. We have to look at NetEase. We have so much to talk about in this video. So let's get into it right now. So China unleashes stimulus bliss to lift growth. The central bank cuts benchmark rate and unveils support for property and stock markets to boost demand. And they're actually putting money into the stock market. They're allowing a lot of like these uh, firms and banks to actually put in money into the stock market to boost demand. And this is very important, man. This is super important because we're going to see a lot of these companies actually getting a huge boost in the stock price just because there'll be more inflows into these companies. China has unleashed a swath of stimulus measures, including cuts to its benchmark interest rate as Beijing battles a slowdown in the world's second largest economy. In a rare public briefing on Tuesday, the Public Bank of China also announced government funding to boost the stock market and aid share buybacks, as well as more support for the stricken property sector. Guys, we already know that Alibaba is doing huge buybacks. Like in three to four years, they can buy back like 20% of the company if it stayed at like an $80 stock price. Same with JD.com. They just announced another $5 billion buyback after Walmart sold its whole stake and they bought up that whole stake, JD.com. So we have Chinese companies already doing buybacks. So imagine what's gonna happen when the government gives more money for this. People are actually kind of like skeptical, like is this gonna really help the government reach that 5%? Because that's their goal. They wanna get that 5% GDP growth. And if they continue that, we can see the Chinese economy just keep picking up even more and that's gonna set up a good 2025. So this is like the most they've kind of done in all at once. Like this was their this is a big announcement because they usually don't do this all at once. That's how much in a rush they are to like fix the problems in China. They came up with seven steps that they're going to do to kind of boost the economy. The move to lower benchmark seven day reverse repo rate, the mortgage rate cut. And this is pretty much really, really big for the mortgage sector because we know the houses are not going as fast as they want it to because there's a big kind of supply there and not enough demand. Existing mortgage rates will also be reduced by around a half a percentage points on average. So that's what they're doing with the mortgage rates. They also announced a cut of half a percentage points in the amount of cash that commercial banks must hold as reserves. So they're going to allow you to. So they're basically allowing the banks to lend out more money. This is all to stimulate the economy. If people can get more money, they can buy more goods and buy more stuff. A down payment ratio on the second home purchases will also be reduced from 25% to 15%. So if you're buying a second home, you have a lower down payment, which is actually amazing. 25 to 50%, that's a huge difference. A 300 billion fund that was set up in May to encourage local governments to buy up unsold homes and convert them into subsidized housing. So they're really doing a lot. So they're going to be buying up homes to subsidize housing. A $500 billion won structural monetary policy facility. This is actually a lot. So this is going to allow security houses, fund management firms, and insurance companies to tap liquidity when purchasing stocks via swap line of pledging their assets for high quality assets. So there you go. $70 billion US can potentially just hit the stock market as we're going to have more firms buying into the stock market as the government is giving them this money. Man, that's pretty huge in my opinion. A relending facility of 300 billion yuan with an interest rate of 1.7% would be established to guide banks to support listed companies, stock buybacks, and purchases. So, man, look what they're doing. They're actually supporting the stock market. When has Chinese government come out and said, we're going to support the stock market by giving you all this liquidity? Think about it. Everyone says that the Chinese market is bad. The government can just take your shares. Remember, the people are saying the Chinese stock market is illegal because 
They're not supposed to be listed in the New York Stock Exchange because they're going through bad channels. Remember all of this stuff? The government is supporting this market. So we can kind of cut that noise out saying that, oh, the government can take their money in the stock market because they're going to cancel listings and et cetera, et cetera. Look what they're doing. They're supporting the stock market. So this is huge news coming out of China. Look what happened in the market. We have JD.com up 13%. In the last month, it's been up 31%. It's on a tear. We have the same thing for 10 cent up 7% today. The last month, 10%, not too bad. We have net ease up 8%. The last month up only 5%. But I've been buying net ease around like 80 four eighty five dollars around that so i'm not up that much on that ease right now maybe up two percent whatever we have a lot of stocks right now in china that are super cheap that if you really if you really get down to it these companies you can buy very cheap companies in china that have crazy good moats think about tencent tencent has an amazing moat in china we already know about jd.com and its moat we have alibaba one of the biggest e-commerce players in china so we have a lot of companies that you can buy very very cheap with strong moats and that's what i've been doing in china guys do you think this is a false recovery or do you believe that this is going to sustain itself because we've been through this cycle where kind of booms and then it goes all the way back down if you've been in china for the last two to three years you know what i'm talking about so is this a fake bullish run or can you actually see this continuing on